Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, this reading is strictly about uh, advice. So it's going to be advice for love and romance and then career and finance. All right. So let's start with what you came here for love and romance. All right. So let's see what's the advice for Aquarius and love and romance. Okay. Those. Okay. All right. So we've got uplift. So I, I like to see the star card in that, in this card here. So this is you, you are the center of it all. Some of you, you are in alignment. Like when I say in alignment, like you're in a good place in every aspect uh, of your life and every chakra and all seven chakras. It's like you have uh, completely accepted you for you. Um, you can accept it where you are. Some of you are at a place of expressing and processing your emotions correctly, accurately. Yeah. Um, for some of you, a more stable, long lasting committed relationship, a devoted relationship is coming in for you. Okay. Because you got in alignment and for some of you, you need to get in alignment so that you can have stability, um, in a relationship. You can have something that will profit you, that will bring value to you Aquarius and you bring value to it. So, um, it looks like some of you are coming into a place of having a more committed relationship. Yeah. Um, so some of you need to do some healing work. You need to go on that soul search and journey. You need to have a change of personality. You've been accepting of something that is just contrary to what it is you say you want. You've been accepting of it too long. Like maybe you accept the guy who is not offering a commitment. You've just accepted this treatment or you've accepted him, you know, as a part of your, your love life, but you know that you're never going to get what you want. So it's contrary to what you say you want. You've just been accepting it, you know, uh, for some of you, um, the advice here is, yeah, everybody's getting consistency. So you need to make a decision in terms of what is healthy. You need to determine what you, what you're going to put your energy effort into what relationship is healthy. Some of you have a lot of options. You need to decide who and what you're going to put 100% behind or into. And for some of you, you, you just need to decide which relationship is healthy. Uh, or if your relationship with your particular person is healthy, is it conducive to you getting what you really want? If it's not, then you might need to um, take a pause, take a break, look at something from a different perspective and start to ask yourself the question, you, only you, why haven't I had what I really want? We said I twice in that phrase. So it's about you. It's not about the other person giving you what you want, but why haven't you had it? What part do you play in this? So again, back to accepting something, you need to have a change of personality, a change of philosophy. Maybe you, you, you feel like if you stick around long enough, if you're hard working, you're going to get what you really want. No, people will just continue to take, take, take. Um, and as you give, give, give. So you need to look at something. You need to turn something on his head here. And then make some changes. All right, so let's see. And career and finance for the Aquarius. Career and finance for the Aquarius. Uh, reconsider. All right, so you need to reconsider. Um, okay, so maybe you dropped something here. And now it says reconsider. Pick it back up. Think of it. Think about it in a different way. Um, recovery. Some of you are coming to a place of either you're in the beginning of recovering in your career and your finances or you're on the end of the recovery process you're about to walk into abundance and overflow okay you've done the work maybe yeah um yeah perfect timing it's like you some of you about to come into something okay it's like the universe setting you up for something maybe for you to reconsider something yeah look for a sign yeah the universe is setting you up for uh some for your situation to improve okay um, and it looks like it will. It just looks like maybe the universe is helping you get to a place of improvement, maybe shining lights on areas that um, are problem areas for you. Maybe you overspend, maybe you overindulge, maybe you have squandered some money that has come into you. That doesn't mean that you can't have and you won't have. It just means that possibly um, you need to get to a, a place of uh, shining light on that change that and then the universe is going to set you up 
for a, a perfect and divine destined time, okay, for you to recover all that was lost. Some of you lost a lot. No. So um, this is what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Uh, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.